The record for the world's longest confirmed sniper kill has just been broken. A Ukrainian sniper from the elite ghost unit made a shot at around two and a half miles or 4,000 meters. And with one bullet, he killed two enemy soldiers. And he did it with this rifle, the Snipex Alligator. My name is Alex, former British Army sniper, and today I'm breaking down exactly how this happened. The tech, the drones, the AI, and the physics of how a 14.5mm round behaves at 4 kilometers, And if this is even possible, or just smart battlefield propaganda. When I first heard of this, I didn't believe it. Someone told me in one of our live streams over on Twitch earlier this week, and I immediately dismissed it. However, on running some calculations and doing some research, it does actually seem possible. So. Let's break it down. This record-breaking shot was made with the Snipex Alligator, a Ukrainian-built anti-material rifle chambered in 14.5 by 114 mm The Alligator is manufactured by Zado Holding, a Ukrainian defense company based in Kharkiv through their Snipex division. It was publicly unveiled in 2017, and the design is specifically intended for ultra-long-range interdiction, engaging enemy equipment, light vehicles, fortified positions, and now, apparently, people at world record distances. This thing is enormous. The rifle weighs around 25 kilograms or 55 pounds and stretches to about two meters long. It uses a 1.2 meter barrel, nearly four feet of steel to wring every bit of velocity out of the 14.5 millimeter cartridge. The barrel is fluted for strength and cooling. It has a progressive right hand twist rate of one turn in 16 inches. That heavy twist is necessary to stabilize such a massive projectile at transonic and even subsonic speeds, which is crucial when you're pushing shots out to three or four kilometers. And of course, there's the round itself. The 14 14.5 by 114 millimeter, originally designed in the late 1930s for the Soviet PTRD and PTRS anti-tank rifles, and later for the KPV heavy machine gun. The projectile weighs about 64 grams, or roughly 1,000 grain. That's nearly 10 times the mass of a standard 5.56 NATO round. When fired from the alligator, the muzzle velocity is around 900 to 1,000 meters per second. That's almost Mach 3 at sea level. The combination of sheer mass and raw velocity is why this rifle can deliver lethal energy even at extreme ranges. Now, despite how the headlines make it sound, this wasn't a lone wolf sniper pulling off a miracle shot. The ghost unit themselves have explained this was a team effort. On August the 14th, 2025, a Ukrainian elite ghost sniper team was situated in the town of Pokrovsk when they took the shot, and here is how they did it. They used drones to locate and observe the target. At four kilometers, the sniper didn't even have a direct line of sight. No optic could have possibly gave the firer a clear picture of a man-sized target at that distance, so a drone was used as a forward observer, the live feed sent back to the sniper team. The drone was also able to give them corrections when they needed to adjust their fire. AI tools came into play as a kind of advanced ballistic computer. By feeding in live weather data, wind estimates, barometric pressure, and even target azimuth for the Coriolis effect, the AI could calculate the numbers in real time, up updating the shooter's elevation and wind hold shot by shot. When I was serving, we had a simple card called an ASATS, or Advanced Small Arms Targeting System. This card was used to calculate your deflection and elevation. Before long, these were loaded onto ballistic computers, and now it seems these computers are loaded with AI to calculate real-world parameters into DOPE, or data on previous engagements, all in real time. Okay, let's get into the physics. The big question is, what is a 14.5mm round even doing at 4 kilometers? At the muzzle, it's traveling at roughly 1,000 meters per second, but drag slows it down hard. Depending on the bullet's ballistic coefficient, by the time it reaches 4,000 meters, it's dropped into the transonic region, somewhere between Mach 0.9 and 1.0. That means the bullet is starting to destabilize and accuracy gets very sketchy. Now, I am no expert and I'm also shit at math. So I ran the numbers using different drag models and here's the range of possible outcomes. In the best case aerodynamic scenario, velocity at four kilometers could still be around 320 meters per second, which is just under Mach 1. That equals about 3,300 joules of energy, basically the same punch as a 7.62 NATO round at the muzzle. In a moderate case, it might slow down to around 250 meters per second with around 2,000 thousand joules left. And at the pessimistic end, we're talking 150 to 200 meters per second, carrying 700 to 1,200 joules. So depending on the exact ammo type and drag profile, the bullet at four kilometers still had anywhere from handgun level energy all the way up to rifle muzzle energy. Now, the big claim is that one bullet killed two soldiers. Is that even realistic? Well, let's break it down. At four kilometers, even in the lower energy case, the projectile is still a hardened steel cord armor piercing round. Those things are built to punch through steel plates, vehicles, and bunkers. Against a human target, even one wearing body armor, the round has enough momentum to penetrate at least soft armor or severely damage hard plates. If we take the upper end, 3000 joules of impact energy, it's easily in the range where it could pass through one person and still have lethal velocity for another, especially if they were close together. Add in 
the fact that this was fired through a window. Thin glass doesn't do much to slow a 14.5mm AP core. So yes, the physics say it is plausible. If two soldiers were in line, one behind the other, and the first barrier didn't break up the core, a single round could absolutely continue through and kill them both. But let's be clear, this wasn't a magic trick. Time of flight was 5 to 6 seconds, that's enough time for a man to take a step or lean over before the bullet even arrives. Gravity drop over that distance is on the order of 150 to 200 meters, meaning the rifle was angled way up, like lobbing artillery. Wind is the killer here. At 5 meters per second, crosswind could push the bullet dozens of meters off target over 4 kilometers. That's where the drone spotters and the AI corrections were absolutely vital. And also, this is not one single shot. Reports say they fired 6 rounds in 20 seconds. To me, that sounds like harassing fire. To keep the enemy alert and fatigued. So while it may seem impossible at first, it's actually a lot more plausible once we dig into it. Now, luckily for you guys, I've found an armor of Forger server that has the Snipex alligator. So let's jump in and see just how powerful this rifle really is. Oh, there's someone in that bush. And he's been blown up. Alright, try and make my way up here with this sniper rifle. Pretty heavy, I can't actually run. I'm like 60 kilo right now. Looking into the sun as well, which is not easy. Oh, we've got a man. Ooh, that sounds lovely. I love the sound the bolt makes as well when you rack it. it sounds powerful, you know what I mean? A lot of people nearby. I thought I heard enemy in here. Where this guy's going now. Mm, maybe not. Oh no. There was. Yeah. There's somebody in there. There he is. Oof. This MCX is nice as well. I have to use this again. This point is not very nice for sniping on. It's very, very flat. Don't know where that's coming from. But the sway on this rifle is insane. Oh. oh! Oh, I killed him. I think he knocked me. He knocked me. That's that thousand meters per second bullet velocity. I'm gonna get out of here. He was literally already shooting at me and the round was traveling so fast it still killed him. That's insane. I'm going to uh, leave this point, I think. This point is not very good for sniping. Like, I do like these Eastern Europe maps. Someone's just playing Berlin. I do like these Eastern Europe maps, but they're all really flat. It makes sniping really difficult on them. <laughs> they're literally just flat lines. There's no elevation or anything. Can be really rough. Especially when you're trying to get sniping gameplay with a two meter long sniper rifle. What? Didn't get him. Did I see a guy there? I'm sure I saw a guy there. Am I going crazy? I knew I wasn't going crazy. I knew I saw somebody there. Right, I'm I'm leaving this point. <laughs> this point's way too flat. Ooh, I think I can see a guy up there. I can. How far is that? 373? That looks further than that. I'm going to rearrange that. 
Oh, no, 373. All right, then. Oh, I hit the barrier. Lucky son of a bitch. Got you that time, though. Oh, I love the sound this thing makes when you rack the bolt. That's beautiful. Alright, nice. Captured the objective. Let's try and find a little point to defend ourselves with. Up here looks nice. I lie down here. In this little bush on this container. A lot of grenades going off. It sounds like they're being fired from over there, so... There's a man. Ooh, only a hit. Not sure where. There we go, got him. Not sure where my sound's gone for racking the bolt, but we picked up another kill. Nice. Not sure, uh... Not sure you're walking off a 14.5mm round in real life, but... Oh no, I'm rushing my shots now. I'm panicking. There's like two of them there. Where'd they go? There. Come on, Alex. What are we doing there? There we go. There we go. Yes, that's it. Keep walking straight. Oh, straight with the head. Lovely. I can hear someone on me. There is. There's a man on me. Nice. Oh, there's another one. No, no, no. Get the MCX back out. Where is he? There. Okay. Resume the position. Get this thing back out. Where's he gone? I've got the best frames on this map. Oh. Nice. Another guy next to me? It is. I can hear someone creeping. Nice. The thing that worries me is I've got such a long barrel, it's like a massive antenna giving away my position. Oh my god, there's people everywhere. Is that friendly? I think so. I think that's him firing. No? No, I can definitely hear someone crawling. All stations, this is Alpha Main. Supplies are being distributed from Point Oregon. Out. Oh my god, there's so many. Is that guy with the RPG gun? There he is. Oof, nice. Another headshot. Just RPGs flying everywhere. I feel like I'm in Normandy Beach on DD or something. I'll just storm in the point while I hold him back. Where's he gone? What happened there? Did my friendly just shoot at me? It sounded like it came from inside the building. Nice. There's another.
Who's down there? Oh, no. Fucking helicopter got me. There he is. The culprit. I'm gonna try and snurgle my way back onto point here. Need to find somewhere I can go. What about this little trailer here? This looks nice. I can rest it as well. Very nice. It's all gone very quiet all of a sudden. Who's this maniac? <laughs> he did a little flip. It was sick. Well, it's more of a spin than a flip, but you get the gist. Where's that tracer coming from? Oh, there's my body over there, look. Oh. <laughs> he just moved, just as I fired. What can I hear? Oh, nice, through the tent. So you can pen that. I was wondering if you could even pen it. No, I can definitely hear someone, man. I can definitely hear people in this building. Oh, there. There's two. Which way is he going to peek? I'm in such an awkward position. Oh no, don't throw me out of sight. I can hear him. I'm hoping he doesn't know I've gone in here. Oh, he's firing. There we go. Is that all of them? I really hope it was. I guess time I find a new position if they're sneaking up on me here. Try and sneak away. Oh, there's another one. Heard his footsteps on wood. Please get my weapon out. Is he? No, he's dead. Cool. I killed him outright. Oh, man. That's like the second time I've traded with somebody. Never normally happens. All right. Get me back in here. I'm going to heal myself up. Oh, my God. I'm like doing a little dance on the stairs. And then I want to get out of here because this is not a great place to be. I'm just going to get fragged otherwise. God, these guys are everywhere. Just trying to escape. I'm trying to get away and they're just everywhere. Oh my god, there's like people on me right here. Oh, he's there. Oh no, armor, please don't do this to me. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, I'm actually up. I'm actually up. Please, get my weapon out. Please, please. Armor. Oh my god, get me down here. Oh no. This is like the last place I want to be. And he's got it before he needs me. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> what a fucking life, man. Well, guys, I hope you've all thoroughly enjoyed the video. On screen are some more videos you can watch if you like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one.